Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to Watching Wolford. It's just Ash this time, but there's been some new news that I thought should be discussed. Um, reported today, 24th of March 2023. Um, Paul Foreman, the Coronation Street character, the Coronation Street actor Peter Ash has revealed a big news storyline for his character Paul Foreman, who will be diagnosed with motor neurone disease next month. Um, if you don't know what motor neurone syndrome is, um, my main uh, tacklings with it were in 2015-2016 as Patrick Blake, you know, Sienna's dad, um, Maxine's husband. Um, obviously, like, basically his body started to fail him, but the brain was still working. So slowly, through time... Um, he just deteriorated. His body deteriorated, like his motor functions just ceased to work. Um, and he... Uh, it, it is an incurable condition. And the main thing that they've announced is that the actor Paul Foreman, or sorry, Peter Ash himself, actually has noticed that um, Paul is going to die. And that's a pretty big um, deal, really. Like, it's quite sad to think of. So let's just go through the article a little bit more. Paul has been experiencing problems with his hand since being involved in a road accident on the cobbles. However, in upcoming scenes, Paul is told that his ongoing struggles are unlikely to be linked to the crash. In early April, a specialist tells Paul it's very likely he has MND, motor neurone disease, this diagnosis is ultimately confirmed later in the month. Subsequent scenes explore how Paul copes with the news that he has a life-shortening condition. He initially confides in his flatmate Dee Dee Bailey, but delays telling his partner Billy, Mum Bernie, or twin sister Gemma. Coronation Street is working closely with the MND Association on the storyline, which will run for many months. As there is currently no cure for MND, story bosses have confirmed the story will lead to Paul's death. That's pretty big deal right there um so yeah obviously you see it in in the Hollyoaks portrayal you saw Patrick Blake slowly degrade over time and in the end he was killed by his niece Nico Blake um because basically she realized how horrible a person he was obviously this isn't going to happen to Paul what's Paul's current situation well he's recently just gotten back with Billy which unfortunately now just feels very token um, it felt like they went, oh, uh, get into the motor neurone disease, get into the motor neurone disease. Because they suddenly really got back together with... I'll be honest, I don't really think too much fanfare. I don't think Billy and Paul were a particularly fantastic pairing. Um, and for a second I genuinely thought they were going to go with like, like Billy and Todd. Not Billy and Todd, Paul and Todd. As he just kind of uh like taking a bullet for him type of deal like that sort of thing um so yeah let me just read more into the thing uh Paul, Paul initially thought he was suffering from nerve damage but after seeing no improvement is he now worried he could experience something more serious and the actor said at this point it's all about Paul wanting to get back to work and earning again I don't think he has any idea that something so serious And essentially, Paul goes quickly into shock when he realizes that this is serious and he doesn't really understand. And essentially, yeah, he struggles. It's a big deal. Um, he doesn't want to... Exp he doesn't, basically, because obviously Gemma and Chesney are getting married soon and they don't want to, like, stress them out. Um, so everything's happening, but he wants to be sure before he does that, so he bottles it up and keeps it in, as he's degrading and struggling. And I suppose a bit of an interesting, uh, topic that was quest that was asked. Um, essentially saying, how long have you known? How do you feel you know it would ultimately leave you to leave the show? He said, I was calling to the producer's office late last year. It was a shock, but it's always a bit scary when you get called into the producer's office. Ian McLeod said that they had a big storyline for you and it should be a great thing to do, but unfortunately it would mean an eventual exit. 
I've had mixed feelings, obviously. I'll be sad to leave the show, but it's been such an amazing job and I've met fantastic people. But I'm also quite happy to be involved in such a powerful storyline that will hopefully bring awareness to MND. It's also going to be quite a progression of Paul's illness. And there we are. So, this is just the news that Paul will be diagnosed with motor neurone disease. A disease that will see Paul slowly degrade through time. And at some point, he'll barely be able to do anything by himself and will definitely need a carer. And he'll ultimately die from it. Um, obviously, it's to shed light on motor neurone disease. And essentially... As just a vague diagnosis, a diagnosis, as a vague description, I've looked it up. Motor neuron disease is a rare condition that progressively damages parts of the nervous system. This leads to muscle weakness, often with visible wasting. ALS is the most common form of MND. Notice how a lot of people did the uh, ALS ice bucket challenge a couple of years back. That was the most common form of motor neuron disease. And yeah, MND happens when specialist nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord called motor neurons stop working properly and die prematurely. This is known as neuro de neurodegeneration. Most n motor neurons control muscle activity like gripping, walking, speaking, swallowing, and breathing. And as it progresses, it becomes more difficult to do some or all of these activities. And how does it feel knowing that a character who's been on our screens for... <laughs> Uh, was he introduced in 2017, maybe? Um, feels like he was brought in a long time ago and has been a pretty integral character. 2018. First introduced 2018, and in 2019, he uh, came into this, into this uh, street, onto the cobbles, had a relationship with Billy uh, and kind of became a father figure to Summer Spellman and kind of going through that. He also had his uh, very big, um, very big storyline where it is revealed that he had been groomed by uh, Kel Hinchley and this was a big, uh, this was a big deal. It was a big, like, in, it was a pivotal storyline for the character. Um, and yeah, he continued his relationship with Billy. It eventually got split up by Todd, who was scheming to get them split up. And eventually they've gotten back together. And now he'll continue from here. I think it'll be a shame to see Paul go as a character. But I also think this is probably going to be the best thing to keep the character in people's heads. Like, it'll leave a lasting impression. And if you have really appreciated the character, this storyline will make you go, man, I miss Paul. But ultimately, do I have much, uh, many thoughts towards the character, really? No. He's kind of... I don't want to say he's one note, but he's very quick to anger and kind of... He's not really had much to do... Unless it's been with Billy. And. Yeah. Ultimately it's a bit of a struggle. But I think he was a good character. He was played by a good actor. The actor was capable. And it will be a very important storyline. To shed light on the topic. Obviously this feels like this will be. Geared towards. The. Probably the soap awards. They're likely hoping that these episodes, there'll probably be one big episode that will um, essentially culminate and that will probably be nominated for the Soap Awards. Um, but ultimately, it's kind of questionable. But regardless, I mean, I think it'll be an integral storyline for the character. It'll be a sad time for the, for the family. As there's just going to be a marriage on the cards and they're going to reveal, it's going to be revealed that Paul's suffering. And it'll be sad. It'll be sad, but I think it'll be... I don't want to say it'll be good, but I feel like a lot of the characters in this story have kind of been in like a perpetual cycle. Like Billy's been toying with, does he like Todd? Does he like Paul? You know, and... 
Chesney and Gemma have only really just gotten their big storyline where they're going to get married now after having the kids and the... I don't remember if there was a post net depression. But there was a big struggle for Gemma after the birth of the quads. And obviously, I suppose their mum... Uh, what's the name? I've forgotten the name. Bernie. Obviously Bernie. Bernie's been moving up a little bit more. She's gotten with Dev and having some comic relief. Also having some actual like fun like scenes. I think it'll be really sad to see the character die. But ultimately I think it's going to be dealt with in... Like dealt with... Uh, I think they're going to give it the necessary time it needs. And the time it deserves. So I've been Ash from watching Wolford. Uh, these have been my thoughts on the Paul Foreman MND motor neurone disease storyline that will ultimately lead to his exit. What do you think the storyline? Have you seen it done before? I don't remember. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out if it's the same thing that Aaron's first boyfriend had. Or whether he was just... Um... whether Jackson had just like oh no nah, he became a quadri quad quad quadriplegic after a train accident never mind but you know you that's completely incorrect then but regardless you would see him slowly you'll see Paul slowly degrade and eventually die on our screens and it'll be a sad time but what do you think about the storyline are you sad that Paul's gonna be going and what do you reckon it's going to do. Is this going to get a soap award? There's a chance. There's also a chance that Amy's uh, consent will also do that. So they're really gunning for a lot this year. It's going to be a big year in Coronation Street for sure. So yeah. Thank you for watching. I've been Ash from watching Wolford. And make sure to join us next time. To see whatever we're doing next.